Hi everyone, welcome to game 4 of the 2019 Kisei title match between Toyoshima Kisei and Watanabe Double Crown. This game is breathtaking, so please enjoy it. Watanabe leads the match 2-1, but it's Toyoshima who takes the initiative first. The opening begins with pawn 2-6, pawn 3-4, pawn 7-6. And in this position, for the first time since 2010, Watanabe plays the move pawn to 4-4. He declines bishop exchange, which was the opening many professional expected him to choose. Instead, after silver to 4 8, silver to 3 2, king to 6 8, pawn to 8 4, Watsnabe reveals his intention to aim for Gangi. Pawn to 4 6, silver to 4 3, silver to 4 7, gold to 3 2, silver to 7 8, pawn to 8 5, silver to 5 6. A reclining silver by Toyoshima. His intention is to ignore the 8th file and allow Watsnabe to exchange his rook pawn. If Watanabe does this, he would lose one move in the opening. In other words, Toyoshima seems to be going for a rapid battle. Pawn to 5-4, gold to 5-8, silver to 6-2, king to 7-9, silver to 5-3, pawn to 3-6, gold to 5-2. Now both players have committed to an opening strategy. For Toyoshima, it's left Mino rapid attack from a reclining silver formation. On the other side of the board, Watanabe goes for a classical gangi with the right silver developing to 5-3. The collision between these two strategies was believed to be difficult to research thoroughly. I'm not sure why, but if I had to guess, it might be that the ideas are sensitive to small nuances like the situation off the edge. So it's remarkable that Toshima has yet to spend even a minute of his thinking time, and despite Watanabe's surprising opening choice, he moves forward without the slightest hesitation. Everyone was thinking about the same question. What kind of research did Toyoshima prepare? Knight to 3 7, king to 4 2, pawn to 2 5. This move signals that Toyoshima won't go for right 4th file rook. The alternative would be to leave it out and keep the option of playing the knight to 2 5. Bishop to 3 3, bishop to 6 6. Once again, Toyoshima declines the option to defend the 8th file with bishop to 7 7. After king to 3 1, he attacks with pawn to 4-5. And at this point, Toshima's opening strategy already seems to be a success. If Watanabe takes it, then after pawn to 3-5, pawn takes, knight takes 4-5, bishop takes 6-6, six, six, pawn takes, silver to 4-4, four, four, pawn to 2-4, pawn takes, rook takes, pawn drop 2-3, Toshima would abandon his rook by rook takes 4-4, four, four, silver takes, bishop drops 7-1, forking the rook and the silver. With a left Mino castle, a rook sacrifice is one of the ideal attacking themes because it's strong against rook drops from the side. So in the game, Watanabe plays the patient gold 4-2. But Toshima's attack picks up steam after pawn takes 4-4, four, four, silver takes, pawn to 2-4. If bishop takes, then Toshima would once again make a powerful rook sacrifice. So Watsunabe plays pawn takes, but Toshima continues with pawn drop to 5, a great joining pawn. If Watsunabe takes it, then after knight takes, if bishop to 2 2, then pawn drop to 4, whereas after bishop to 1 5, pawn drop 4 5, silver to 3 3, knight takes promotes, bishop takes, bishop takes promotes, knight takes, pawn to 4 4, the game would become one sided for Toyoshima. So Watanabe instead counters with pawn to 5-5. Five, five. And after pawn takes 2-4, pawn drop 2-2, two, two, it's the first big decision that Toshima has to make on his own. One unusual idea here is silver to 4-7, silver to 5-4, silver to 4-6, pawn drop 4-5. And the meaning of this strange sequence is to go for Watanabe's bishop with pawn to 3-5. After pawn takes 4-6 and pawn takes 3-4, the bishop would be trapped. And for example, after gold to 4 3, bishop to 7 5, bishop to 4 2, bishop takes promotes, rook takes, silver takes 4 5, silver takes, knight takes, silver takes, pawn drop 4 4, gold to 5 3, silver drop 4 3, gold takes, pawn takes promotes, rook takes, pawn drop 4 4. Toshima's attack appears to be perfectly connected. So I don't know the best move in this position, but Toshima's choice seems not bad at all. He plays pawn drop 4-5, forcing a silver exchange, 
with pawn takes 5 6, pawn takes 4 4, bishop takes. Wasnabe can play this because after bishop takes, silver takes, bishop drops 7 1, rook trade 4, his rook would defend his silver, and Wasnabe would look forward to making a powerful bishop drop to begin his counterattack. So in the game, Toshima declines bishop exchange with silver drop 5 5. Bishop is 7 1, pawn takes 5 6. Gaining a pawn in hand and threatening an unpleasant pawn drop, the Wasnabe decides to block it with pawn drop 4 4. In this position, the shortened second file and the wall shape this causes is a big positional advantage for Toyoshima. On the other hand, Wasanabe has the advantage of a silver in hand, and his next move could be silver drop 6 5. The Toyoshima defends with a cool move, knight to 7 7. And his next move might be rook to 4 8. Wasanabe prevents this with pawn drop 5 4, silver to 4 6, but after pawn to 7 4, Although his plan might have been to defend pawn 5-5 five five with silver drop 6-4, Toyoshima instead plays rook to 2-5, loading up his rook and aiming for a rook train. Toyoshima's clever idea of attacking with his castle knight is characteristic of modern shogi. If Watsunabe allows the rook trade after pawn to 6 pawn takes, rook takes, rook to 5 rook takes, knight takes, Toyoshima would have a clear advantage because the whole of Watsunabe's camp is weak against rook drops. So Watsunabe prevents the rook trade with knight to 7-3. But Toshima attacks fearlessly with pawn to 7-5. He's going for the knight's head. If Watsunabe tries to get the upper hand with knight to 3-3, Toshima would achieve sabaki with pawn takes 7-4, knight takes 2-5, pawn takes 7-3 promotes, rook to 5-2, king takes 6-3, rook to 5-1, Knight takes 2-5. The gaining of two knights and a dangerous to on 6-3 would be more than enough for his rook. So instead, Watsunabe strikes back with pawn to 8-6. And if Toshima simply takes it, then Watsunabe might return to knight to 3-3. And this time, after pawn takes m4, knight takes 2-5, pawn takes 7-3 promotes, rook takes 8-6, pawn drop 8-7, rook to 7-6, knight takes 2-5, Rook takes m3, losing the Tokin would be painful for Toyoshima. In the game, Toyoshima's attack intensifies. He goes ahead with pawn takes m4, pawn takes 8 7 promotes, pawn takes 7 3 promotes. In this position, Watanabe has two moves. One option is the king to 8 8, king to 6 8, the king takes 7 8. And if king takes, then Watsunabe might play silver drop 8 9, and it's not clear which player would have the upper hand. But it seems that after gold takes, rook to 8 9 promotes, rook to 8 5, dragon takes 1 9, rook to 8 1 promotes, Toshima would win the bishop, and reading out these moves, Watsunabe wouldn't have felt any confidence here. So in the game, he goes the other way. Silver drop 8 8. And this seems to be the better of the two. After king to 6 8, the king takes 7 8. If Toshima plays king takes, it would transpose to the previous variation with silver to 8 9 on promotes. Therefore, he plays gold takes. And after silver takes 7 7, Toshima finds the unusual gold takes. The meaning of this move is to lessen the severity of rook to 8 9 promotes by moving the gold out of the way. Of course, the downside is that this move allows Watanabe to promote the rook to 8-8 with a check. After pawn drop 7-8, Watanabe's attack would continue with knight drop 2-5. But Toshima's plan is silver drop 7-8. After dragon takes 9-9, he can defend with pawn drop 8-9. But if Watanabe plays knight drop 8-5, then Toshima would go for the dragon with gold to 8-7. It's trapped. For example, after silver drop 7-9, king to 6-9, pawn drop 7-7, gold takes 8-8, Silver takes 8 8 promotes, Rook takes 8 5, Pawn takes 7 8 promotes, King to 5 9. It seems that Toshima's king barely escapes. So in the game, Watanabe plays Silver drop 7 9, King to 6 9. And Toshima can still trap the dragon with gold to 8 7, so Watanabe's only choice is to continue with Dragon takes 9 9, Pawn drop 8 9, Pawn drop 8 8. It turns out that the 7-9 silver is poisoned. After king takes, 
Pawn takes e9 promotes king to 6 8 to king 7 9. Watch time his attack would be gaining in speed. Therefore, Toshima swings his rook to 8 5. And after pawn takes e9 promotes, silver takes pawn drop 8 8, silver to 7 8. Watch time is left with a very heavy shape in the corner. He has to disentangle this shape to get to Toshima's king. But how? It doesn't answer the question, but the simple fact is that both players have no choice but to keep playing their best moves. And according to other professionals, the game is exceptionally difficult to understand. For now, Watsunabe calmly saves his bishop with bishop to 5-3, intending to make a force or further activate the bishop to 6-4. Toyoshima responds with rook to a1 promotes, asking a troublesome question of Watsunabe. Which piece will he drop to block this check? No matter his decision, Watsunabe will lose some of his attacking power. He decides to drop the lance. And although I'm not sure if this increases his castle strength in any meaningful way, it seems to be his plan. But after the king takes 6-3, bishop takes 9-7 promotes, gold to 8-7. If he takes this gold, Toshima could recapture with his dragon and continue suppressing Watanabe's attack. So Watanabe's attacking pieces remain in pretty bad shape, and the flow of the game appears favorable for Toshima. But Watanabe's next move changes the equation, because Knight drop 7-4 is a shobute that leaves Toshima with an all or nothing decision. At the board, Toshima covers his mouth with his left hand. Did this shobute catch him by surprise? With only 6 minutes of thinking time, and with his kise title on the line, Toshima's task is to read the game anew. So the worst of Toshima's options would be to escape along this diagonal to protect the 7-5 square. For example, after bishop of 5-7, Watanabe's attack would come to life after pawn drop 7-7. Seven, seven. And the most direct option appears to be gold takes 9-7. Knight takes 6-6. Six, six. So after pawn takes, I'll explain the variations after dragon takes 9-7 and knight drop 5-3 in just a moment. But another option might be silver to 6-8 promotes, king takes, bishop drop 7-9, king to 6-7, dragon takes 9-7, pawn drop 8-7, Bishop takes 4 6 promotes. Actually, I'm not so sure. At a glance, Watanabe's king might seem safer, but Toshima can make a threat mate by knight drop 5 3. And after gold takes, the king takes, Watanabe's king would no longer be in threat mate, but I couldn't find his decisive move. For example, after silver drop 7 5, Toshima might clear the pieces with gold drop 4 2, gold takes, the king takes, king takes, dragon 7 2, gold drop 5 2. Dragon takes m5, and maybe Toshima would have the upper hand in this position. But if pawn takes 6 6 is not good enough, Toshima would have an even more exciting move in this position. Knight drop 5 3. A move that would not put Watanabe's king in threat mate. However, it would be threat mate if Toshima had another knight in hand. And on his next move, he could capture this knight on 6-6. It's very scary to leave it like this, but it might not be a good idea to take either the silver or the gold because this will speed up Toyoshima's attack. So after dragon takes 9-7, pawn takes 6-6, a threat mate. For example, after bishop drop 4-7, knight takes 4 promotes, gold takes, dragon takes, king takes, knight drop 5-3, king to 4-2, bishop drop 5-1, king takes, gold drop 4-1 and checkmate. But it wouldn't be difficult for Watanabe to remove the threat mate. He could even play a threat mate removing threat mate with bishop drop 9-5, but it might be difficult to continue after Toshima defends with pawn drop 7-7. Another option might be gold takes 5-3, and because Tokin takes 5-3 is barely not a threat mate, Watanabe could close in with knight drop 7-6. And king takes 7 9 would be another threat mate removing threat mate, but Watanabe could then remove the threat mate on his own king by a sequence of checks beginning with dragon and 9 9. One alternative might be clearing the pieces with gold drop 4 2, gold takes, the king takes, king takes, dragon to 7 2, gold drop 5 2, dragon takes 7 6. But here it seems that Watanabe could keep making threat mates with bishop drop 4 7, and he would eventually capture Toyoshima's king.
but I think Toshima would have a stronger move in this position. On draw 4 2. No matter how Watanabe responds, Toshima would draw a piece closer and enhance the value of Takin takes 5 3. For example, after Goal takes, Takin takes 5 3. If Watanabe plays Knight drop 7 6, then Toshima might return to Takin takes 4 2 and Dragon is 7 2. And after Goal takes, Bishop drops 7 5, Knight drops 7 6, Bishop takes 5 3 promotes. Bishop draw 4-2, Bishop takes, King takes, Dragon is 7-2, Toshima once again win the knight, and likely the game as well. In the end, I think that these variations are just the tip of the iceberg, such as the nature of an extraordinary endgame battle between the strongest in the world. In the game, Toshima plays Bishop is 7-7 allowing Watanabe to escape with horse to 7-5, and to deal with Watanabe's threat of pawn drop 7-6, Toshima himself plays pawn drop 7-6, but Watanabe goes ahead with pawn drop 6-8, king to 5-9, horse to 3-9. And it's uncomfortable for Toshima's king to be completely surrounded like this, but Watanabe still can't do anything about his heavy attacking shape, so Toshima's king is not in trouble yet. He slows down with pawn drop 4-9, Dragon to 9 8, pawn drop 9 9, luring the dragon back to 9 9. And because of this pawn on 4 9, Watanabe can't decide the game with dragon takes 8 7. But he calmly takes the pawn. This means that Watanabe gained a pawn from Toshima, but Toshima gained a free move, so he gets to play knight drop 5 3, a critical attacking move. Watanabe responds with pawn to 6 9 promotes. If king takes, then horse takes 4 9 would be a threat mate. So Toshima plays silver takes, and now dragon to 8-9. Watanabe inches closer to Toshima's king. It wouldn't be a good idea for Toshima to clear off the pieces and resolve Watanabe's shape issues, but it's not easy to see what else he could play. For example, after gold to 4-8, pawn drop 6-8, silver to 5-8, dragon to 7-8, silver to 5-7, knight to 3-3, bishop to 9-5, gold takes 5-3, if the king takes 5-3, then the knight drop 4-6 might be good enough. And after gold to 7-7, Watanabe's attack would finally break through with pawn to 6-9 promotes, silver takes, horse takes 4-8, pawn takes, gold drop 4-9, king takes, dragon takes 6-9, king is 3-8, knight drop 2-6, king to 4-7, silver drop 5-8, king to 4-6, pawn to 4-5, knight takes, silver to 4-4. Would this be a one game for Watanabe? So, in this position, as he enters 1 minute shogi, Toshima decides to attack. Bishop to 9-5. And Watanabe's king is running out of time. Next, Toshima can make a simple threat mate with bishop to 5-1 promotes. Seeing this shobute, a lesser player might have lost his way. But as he himself enters 1 minute shogi, Watanabe finds a rare and beautiful idea. It begins with pawn drop 6-8, a threat mate. After bishop to 5 1 promotes, pawn takes 6 9 promotes, king takes, silver drop 6 8, gold takes, silver takes promotes, king takes, gold drop 7 8, king to 5 8, dragon takes 4 9, and checkmate. So Toshima has to play gold takes, silver takes, king takes. Now I'd like to ask you to please remember this exact position, and especially the pieces in hand. Silver for Toshima, gold for Watanabe. At this point, Watanabe strikes with gold drop 7 9. And if Watanabe plays this move, it has to be a threat mate, and it is. Therefore, Toshima defends with silver drop 7 8, gold takes 6 9, silver takes. But look at this position. It's the same as before, except Toshima now has the gold, and Watanabe has the silver. Normally, it's a good idea to exchange your silvers for your opponent's golds. But here Watanabe exchanges his gold for Toshima's silver, and now he plays horse takes 4-9. So why did he go for this exchange? The reason is as astonishing as it is easy to interpret. Watanabe makes this decision because he could read every possible move. He read it all, and his reading is immaculate. This sequence is the genius of Watanabe. What exactly did Watanabe read? In fact, in this position, 
Hiroshima's king is not even in a threat mate. But after gold drop 5-1 or bishop to 5-1 promotes, is the checkmate starting with silver drop 5-9. If knight to 5, it's a threat mate removing threat mate with gold takes 5-3. On the other hand, if Toshima tries to defend with gold drop 5-9, then after horse takes, king takes, gold drop 4-7, king to 6-8, gold takes 4-6, Watanabe could win by successive threat mates. If pawn to 7-5, he might close off the escape route with silver drop 6-6. And if bishop drops 7-5, then one example might be silver drop 5-7, bishop takes, gold takes, king takes, dragon takes 6-9, gold drop 5-1, bishop drop 7-9, silver drop 6-8, dragon to 5-9, king to 4-7, dragon to 4-9, pawn drop 4-8, silver drop 3-8, king to 5-7, dragon to 5-9, king to 4-6, dragon takes 4-8, pawn drop 4-7, dragon takes 4-7, and checkmate. So in the game, Toyoshima plays gold takes 8-8, but after silver drop 7-9, king to 5-7, dragon takes 8-8, dragon takes, silver takes promotes. Watanabe succeeds in removing Toyoshima's dangerous dragon from the board, and Toyoshima's king is still in a threat mate starting from gold drop 6-6. It might seem hopeless, but the Kise keeps fighting. Gold drop 4-8, horse takes, king takes, rook drop 2-8, king to 5-7. But Watanabe strikes another blow with gold takes 5-3, making a threat mate of knight drop 6-5. Toshima sticks to it with bishop drop 7-5. Attack and defense. Seeing this move, Watanabe picks up his knight from the p-stand and drops it on 9-2. What? Well, his hand was shaking as he picked up the piece, and it was an accidental drop. Even as he closes in on winning the game in the match, Watanabe can't afford any mistakes. He knows the game is over only at the moment when Toshima resides. Picking up the knight, Watanabe places it on its proper square. Knight drop 6-5, king to 4-7, pawn drop 6-6, bishop takes 5-3 promotes, gold drop 4-2. So Watanabe's king is safe, and the threat made on Toshima's king remains. After gold drop 3-9, gold drop 5-7, silver takes, knight takes promotes. If Toshima takes this, then Watanabe could decide the game with pawn takes 6 7 promotes. If king takes, then silver drop 6 6 is checkmate. And after king to 4 6, silver drop 5 7, king to 4 7, silver to 5 8, king to 4 6, gold takes 5 3. Watanabe can keep making threat mates, so Toshima's king would be hopeless. Therefore, in the game, Toshima plays king to 4 6. But Watanabe finds silver drop 3 8. King takes 5-7, silver takes 3-9, and after pawn takes 6-6, six, six, gold takes 5-3, another threat mate. Gold drop 5-8, bishop drop 4-8. Toshima sees Watanabe make this move. As he listens to the last seconds of his final countdown, he resigns the game in this position. After king to 4-6, rook to 3 promotes, knight drop 2-9, bishop takes 6-6 six, six promotes, it's only a matter of time before Watanabe gets to Toshima's king with successive threat mates. After a long and perilous endgame, Watanabe prevails, and with 3 games to 1, he captures the Kisei title from Toyoshima. It was a hard fought match, but I believe both players showed us why they were the strongest in the world. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.